fun fact for you ladies and gentlemen, I gotta say, Tanner starts with T, and you know what else starts with T? You got that right, talent. Which pe persons have talent in this world? Only the Sims of Tanner, remember that. But anyway, welcome back ladies. So today um, we have a special edition of comparing uh, Tanner with another popular character from the franchise. And this time we got another Sims battle with other guys, other persons, which are the Sims of Breffer, Breffer, a character from Welcome to the Game, which is most likely a person who doesn't have any character at all. Yes, he's a character, but he doesn't have any character. So people only lack like a uh, briefer just for the way he is just for the way he's uh jump scaring you and just for the way how he looks and you know how he looks bro if you check those eyes those aren't your natural eyes brother i'm telling you right now so remember this kids school is better don't use drugs all right cheers ah but before we talking about um, this battle of Sims right here, uh, I gotta say, yesterday and uh, during this night we got a new update from uh, um, the developer from uh, scrutinized. Oh, I forgot the name, man. Jesus Christ, my memory is really slacking off. All right, Reflex Studios. Jeez, ADHD. So, Reflex Studios has made an update and uh, like I told you on the last video, they decided to do not develop horror games anymore because they are not selling very well. People are only watching them and not buying them. People want to relax playing a game and uh, apparently they are very scared to watch, uh, to, to play the game, horror games. And they only watch it on YouTube so they can scroll down to the comments and Oh my god, who's also watching in the comments right now? Right? So... We got an update what his next project might be, but uh, this is just an idea coming from him, not something official. So it is, long story short, it is about a detective game, wait, not detective, jeez, um, dark, deep web game. It is, uh, how can I say, something similar with uh, Welcome to the Game, where you scroll on the computer and do some stuff here and there you have to sell different stuff, you know, dirty stuff. So as long as you cannot be a gangster in real life right here, mob, because you are too short and puss, then it is alright, you can become one in on this idea of the game if you will ever make it. So practically, as I, as I heard, um, there's also... A hitman which might follow you, but I don't think so. We got gonna have jump scares on this kind of game. I'm not gonna have jump scares. This is gonna be a non horror game, a campaign game, which is not followed by jump scares. So, do you like this kind of idea? I want to hear from you, you and you and you and you and you and you and you. All right, I want to hear from all of you. What, uh, what do you think about this kind of game? Because uh, it also is important for uh, Reflect uh, Studios, Adam, to know uh, if he should consider this idea or not. So, yeah, practically, if you think about it, if it's a detective game or something, he could take actually the characters from previous games, at least the most popular ones, such as, I don't know, Tanner. Of course, you know that. And uh, he could uh, actually get Tanner in this game and uh, only doesn't make him to have jump scares but uh, still pretend that he could have a story in here you never know bro you never know what's going on since uh, there is so many fan arts of Tanner and uh, a lot of scenes of a Tanner bro it could be a waste to do not uh, use this opportunity however my suggestion here is that we're gonna compare this with other games so do you know how Finance and Trade has become popular? It is not about all those jump scares coming up. It is about that as well. It is about the idea of camera switching it, switch it, switching it as well. But the most popular thing about 
Five Nights at Freddy's 1, when it blowed up, it was about the characters. So, in order for the game to become popular, it, it was about what the attraction of the game has to offer. So, the main attraction was those animatronics characters, because, hey, kids like these kind of things, right? They want to see relatable characters or something. Uh, and with this opportunity, hey, you, he took... He took, the developer took so many opportunities, he made more and more animatronics and characters like this and the kids actually liked them and they started to do fan arts, all of this kind of stuff and I want Adam to remember this kind of thing Hey, the experience you get is from, um, is from knowing the fact that so many people got attracted of Tanner and that's how you keep a fan base. You have to make relatable characters to persons, someone who uh, should have an impact to the player playing it or watching it, because this is gonna be helpful at some point. And think about the other possibilities you could do with that. Let's say if you make a special character and so many people are gonna like it, you could sell merchandise with that, t-shirts with that character, uh, and uh, plushies with that character. It is a great opportunity in my Opinion and hey, if there is gonna be t-shirts with tenor coming soon boy or plushies with tenor coming soon boy or posters with tenor coming soon boy Do you this wall and everything is gonna be messed up man. We'll see you uh, like uh, oh And body pillow don't forget the body pillow with tenor. All right, so I'm done with this here. Uh, let's talk about tenor versus brief so Tanner, you know, he's a very in intellectual gentleman who can speak so properly and have such a good impact and manipulation on someone and he's also very uh, experimented on the field. He could catch you off guard with a syringe only just capturing you. He doesn't have to kill you straight force to just capture you, right? You know, he is very talented on this kind of thing. T from Talented, same person of Tanner, Talented as well, okay. But, if we think about Tanner, uh, Tanner, Briefer, Briefer, what do you know about Briefer? He's a brute, okay? He's a brute, he actually is wearing a mask, wearing a mask, he knew everything that was gonna happen, so, good for Briefer, okay? And, um, he's using also a knife, I could say, yeah, Tanner is using a syringe, that guy is using a knife and uh, he's stabbing you right on the spot. Never go in the corners during the night. Unless you didn't play this game. But if you play this game, you're not gonna go in the corners anymore. Anyway, um, so Tanner versus Briefer. You know, Tanner is not gonna have a successful operation of manipulation of to, to, to Briefer because He's not gonna listen, that guy is a brute, he's uh, gonna slice his throat instantly, so... The only way that is gonna work for Br for Tanner is to take in consideration either force or either something that could uh, shock Briefer. It could be something, a trauma from his past, I don't know how Briefer became become something like that, but he could be a trauma which could use against him, so that could be useful. Although, I don't think that is gonna be a very pure battle over here. I think uh, it's gonna be blood. It's gonna be blood all over the floor. Who's ever gonna win? Hey, it is your decision, ladies and gentlemen. It is not mine. But uh, I re read your comments last time on um, the Doctor... The Dollmaker, the Dollmaker versus Tanner, and I've I've read a lot of things about uh, what could happen in this kind of battle. Uh, you guys said, "Hey, Dollmaker is a genius since he makes all this kind of stuff." <laughs> Your words, not mine. Okay, and uh, hey, between Tanner and Dollmaker, who could win this? There is very debatable. As long as uh, he had also a brute force, this guy. The Dollmaker had a brute force to catch you with the knife straight uh, to your neck and talk with you and you couldn't do nothing as a detective, specialized detective in Welcome to the Game too. Yep, so hey, 
I still don't have a conclusion yet, you guys didn't comment very much about that, but uh, maybe you're gonna say more about Tanner versus Briefer, alright boy? Mm. This Coca-Cola is great. So, that's it for this video, uh, I will see you guys on the next time, don't forget to comment about Tanner, more praise to Tanner in the comments, kisses you on the cheeks, goodbye.